Alright, Shalom, Shalom, the brother Yahweh Shapat, coming at you with another street teaching through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to my elders and apostles of Great Millstone who teach and rule well in these scriptures, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Now, man, I want to jump straight into it, man. You know? Um, this place is spiritually Sodom and Egypt. You know, and what was Sodom and Gomorrah known for? Sodom and Gomorrah was known for, you know, their blatant sexual immorality, man. You know what I'm saying? And the U.S. is, is, is you know, doing way worse than Sodom and Gomorrah was, man. The U.S. makes Sodom and Gomorrah look like a child compared to a grown-up, you know? So uh, the first scripture I'm going to grab is in Revelations 11, Revelation 11 and 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom in Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. Now, yeah, man, this is spiritually Sodom in Egypt, man. You know, um, the scriptures talk about in uh, Second Ezra, you know, how this is Egypt all over again, man. And when you go into uh, the curses of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, the scriptures say that the Lord was going to bring us into Egypt again by way of ships. You know, so this is that Egypt that uh, th uh that the Lord spoke of, man. This is the new version of Egypt, a spiritual Egypt. You know what I'm saying? So that's another thing, man. But, you know, the Heavenly Father is going to start. He's already passing out heavy judgments, man. Especially for you Israelites that know you Israelites and continue to, continue to live your life in a wicked manner. You know, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh uh, Shai, uh, the Most High, is a uh, fearful, uh, he, he's, he's to be feared, man. You know, and Hebrews 10 and 31 tells you that it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. You know, which, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it can happen, man, to, 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 to anybody. You know what I'm saying? You know, if, if basically, hell, it can happen to one of us, you know? If we go off and, and quit doing the works, you know what I'm saying, and lose our faith, and the Lord will judge us just like any other w w wicked Israelite. The only thing that's covering us, man, is the fact that, you know, we're doing the work. You know what I'm saying? Uh, hey, we live in separate lives from people in this society. You know, but the minute we decide to go back into the world, man, hey, all bets are off. You know, uh, DC Young Fly, he recently lost his wife, you know, and... Uh, I believe it was due to some complications due to plastic surgery or whatever. You know, it's wicked for you women, man. Hey, when you go and get plastic surgery, basically, basically you you saying the Lord fucked up when he made you. You know. And um it's it's it's, it's disrespectful in a lot of ways, man, and it's just completely the hell off. You know what I'm saying? And when you go into the law, you're not supposed to uh make any cuttings in your flesh. So right there, man, tattoos, plastic surgery, all of that shit is going off, you know? But, um, you know, hey, man, that was judgment, man. That was the judgment that you how about some y'all shot. DC Young Fly and a lot of those other guys know they're Israelites. You know, and you had that guy, uh, he calls himself a uh, money bag mafia. You know, he was basically mocking how brothers teach. So I wouldn't be surprised if something happened to him because he know he's an Israelite. He done wore friends' his own T-shirts. A lot of those newer comedians, social media comedians, they know they Israelites, man, and they've actually professed it openly. You know, Nick Cannon and uh, DC Young Fly and all them, they was all on Wild and Out, and Nick, Nick knows the truth. You know what I'm saying? So the Lord is about to start passing out judgment because once you know the truth of who you are, you have no more covering for your sin. It's as simple as that. That's the Lord's reason. You know what I'm saying? Hey, the scriptures talk about how the Lord winketh, uh, winketh at your transgression. Basically, when you're in the world, man, you don't know what the hell's going on. But once the Lord put that light on you and he bring you into this truth, you got a responsibility, man, to uphold, you know, hey, certain standards. You know what I'm saying? And and, and once you know, like I said, man, hey, it's like how I said, man, you, you ain't got no more covering for your sin. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna see if uh, yeah, I'm gonna see if I can uh, pull that particular scripture. Yeah, right there, right there. Yeah, man, things are things are picking up, man, and, and, and that's that's good because 
brothers are sick of this fucking place. You know, we sick of these women. We sick of uh, uh, seeing our people lost and in a demented ass state of mind. You know, hey, Jake is, is through out here, bro. You know? Now, it ain't nothing wrong with uh, partying and, 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 and having a get together with, with us, a few close brothers. But you know, the, the, the way Jake out here uh, basically conducting themselves, man, is 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 off. You know, you got these other Israelites camps, Israelite camps telling you that you know you can smoke weed. You know, uh, you know all of this uh this 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 unity. If it's not brothers gathering together because they teach the same doctrine, hey man, it's not real unity, man. You know, and you know, it's not no law in particular against you smoking weed. You know what I'm saying? A law not gonna come out and just say you shouldn't smoke weed, but you know, uh, Apostle Paul wrote a lot of, uh, of uh, uh, wise advice, man, in the New Testament. And one of them was that, you know, hey, you're not supposed to defile your temple. You know what I'm saying? So when you put smoke into your body, you're defiling your temple. It's as simple as that. And Apostle Paul also said that those things that he wrote, if you're wise, you would consider them, uh, uh, you know, just as just as important as the law, statutes, and commandments. Because that advice that he was giving out, it was through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahushah. You know what I'm saying? So it's definitely to be taken heed to. You know, smoking puts demons on you, man. I, you know, when I was in the world, I used to smoke weed and uh, do a lot of other things that I'm not, uh, uh, ashamed of. But you know, the Lord put the spirit on me, man, and I was able to, you know, let that go. But you know, you brothers out there, man, who are new in the truth, you know, don't be smoking no damn weed, man. Weed is supposed to be ingested, not inhaled. When you burn it and put fire to it, it becomes something completely different. You know, and, and for the most part, this weed over here that we have, man, is is tainted. You know, Esau is making it and creating it in the lab. You know what I'm saying? Now, if, if you know, it's no, it, like I say, if, if, if a brother decides to indulge, hey man, just do it with discretion. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and like the scriptures tell you, abstain from all appearance of evil. You know, if you a prophet, you call yourself a man of the Lord, shouldn't nobody see you out here drunk or high on the internet. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Hey man, uh, when brothers are chilling and, and having drinks, shouldn't no fucking camera be on if you ask me, you know? The only thing that brothers should be putting on camera is this truth. You know what I'm saying? If you deciding to teach, but you know, brothers, man, when they get together, man, you might, hey, brothers might do a quick video, hey, Shalom, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? But when you know you you didn't you didn't you pass your limit and you didn't been drinking, you shouldn't be on the internet, man. You shouldn't be recording videos of yourself or of, or of other brothers, man. You know. Yeah, but um, you know we're we're living in spiritual Sodom and Egypt. You know everywhere you turn around, we gotta work with these people. We gotta live amongst them. You know what I'm saying? And and and, and you know we bring this out because it's getting to the point where they're trying to push that shit on the children, and that's where most people draw the line. Which you know, hey man, uh, we not in power right now. So what we would do, we can't. You know what I'm saying? You know, but hey, man, uh, Jake, man, hey, Jake is uh, uh, uh pushing that, uh, pushing that, 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 that uh, sodomite vibration heavier than Esau is, and that's why the, uh, the, the what the scriptures tell you that uh, my people have become more wicked than the wicked. You know, matter of fact, I think I can say that's in Isaiah, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, man, you know. Ultimately, it's all about what the scripture says, man. You know, and the scriptures tell you that mankind shall not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is abomination. The scriptures tell you that there shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel, nor sodomite of the sons of Israel. And man, hey, two thirds, man, two thirds of our people are holy in that sodomite and whore spirit. I mean, you look at our women. It's, it's just, you know, it's, 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 it's a damn shame. You would literally get undressed and undo yourself anywhere in public and shame yourself. 
you go to these other countries, these women don't even get drunk, man. If they having a drink, they not somewhere stumbling around drunk as hell because it'll bring shame on their family. You know, that, that idea of family and of um, discretion and, and, and certain things, man, that's completely gone from America, from the West. But when you go to these other countries, you see that women are in order. You know what I'm saying? Um, they people are, are a little bit more in order, man. You know? When you come here, man, it's all it's all out chaos. This place is, is a, a literal bowl of confusion. That's what it is. Bear with me, y'all can't bother for sure. Elon Musk, I believe the FDA just approved basically him uh, starting trials on that brain chip that he's got. And if you can't see that that's the mark of the beast, man, and the Lord ain't dealing with you, you know, and it's as simple as that. The chip is already out there, but the mandate has not come yet. It will eventually. And eventually you're going to be, uh, you know, choice with taking that chip in your right hand and your forehead, man. You know? Ultimately, they want to destroy this system as it is and bring in their new world order. And if they're going to bring in a new world order, they're going to need a new financial system, which is what they plan on bringing in, man, with this uh, <laughs> demons walking by the camp. Hey, what they plan on doing is establishing their new financial system, you know, by way of this chip. Because everything is going to be on that chip from now on. You lose your ID, you can't lose, you know, if you gotta go to the BNV, you lose your license, you gotta go to the BNV, you lose your social security card, whatever, may be in your wallet that's of, uh, that's, that you need. You know, you lose it, you out of it for a month to two, two weeks to a month. Well, you know, they gonna come with, uh, you know, they gonna come with, uh, with, with deceit and tell you, well, it's easier. Your money, your wallet, your identification, it'll all be on this chip, you know? So they plan on pushing it out there. They already giving it to you through gradualism. But the, eventually they're going to come full force, man. Revelation 12 and 12. You know, because Esau knows that his time is almost up. He has but a short time. You know, it won't be long, man, before Yahweh shot make his return. And they're planning and, 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 and you know, uh, having discussions about that. You know what I'm saying? Why do you think Donald Trump established that uh, space force? Because that's what they gonna do, man. They turn, they gonna have war with Yahweh Shai and the angels, man, whom the world ignorantly calls uh, the Jesus Christ. You know, the real form of Hebrew, the purest form of it, is the Paleo Hebrew. The Assyrian Hebrew is newer. You know, and that's what those, um, that's what those uh, uh, Jayish people use man they use a syrian hebrew or yiddish you know their own form of hebrew you know but the real hebrew is the paleo hebrew man and in the paleo hebrew the heavenly father's name is yahweh and his son's name is yahweh shot you know hey and we get hated for pushing those names but that's what we here to do and that's what we gonna do you know what i'm saying because somebody got to stand up for the lord man you know hey uh esau done whitewashed his image Hey, the Heavenly Father and Yahweh Shai is in it. So that's why the scripture said that Yahweh Shai is spiritually crucified in this place. You know? Because that's what Esau did when he came into power, man. He basically wiped, uh, 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 he, re he rewrote history. You know? And that's what he's done. That's what he did uh, during, that, uh, during our Greek captivity. And that's what he did during the Renaissance era. You know, the rebirth so to speak, because we ruled over there in Europe, 
in, uh, in all of Europe, man. Some places in Asia. You know what I'm saying? We ruled over there during the so-called Dark Ages. But when Esau came into power, he either had those relics hid, or and, and he white and yeah, he whitewashed uh, um, a, a lot of it, man. A lot of the evidence, you know. But hey, the internet is uh is, is here, and you know this is the age of truth, man. This is the age of information, you know. So a lot of people are starting to realize, man. Yeah, this man's been lying about history. He's covered up a lot of things. You know, you can't learn the truth. Uh, you know, from your enemy, man. They'll never tell you the truth. You know, as, as a matter of fact, the fact that we're the Hebrew Israelites, not black, because that black is a color. And it's also a um, social construct that Esau, the so-called white man, puts on, uh, on, on, uh, on, on you jakes, man. You know? Because what does black mean? You need to go into the etymology of words, and words have vibrations on them. If you call yourself black, you calling yourself evil, wicked, void of light, you know? So you putting it, you know, you shouldn't even be calling yourself that, man. You putting a demonic vibration on you, but that's what Esau the so-called white man wants, you know? That's what they want, man. You know, that's why the scriptures talk about Esau slandering her, uh, his mother's son. That's what he does, man. They portray us in a negative light every chance they get. And it's starting to backfire on them, you know? Let's see, because uh, I was speaking about this being uh, the information age. This is Daniel 12, and I'll start from the top. And at that time, Michael shall, stand, shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since such as never was since there was a nation even to that t same time and at that time thy people shall be delivered everyone that shall be found written in the book that's talking about the book of life and at that time it's talking about jacob's trouble jeremiah 30 and 7. and many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting contempt you know so hey man some, two thirds of our people you know they mock the prophets they hate to hear yahweh by shim yahweh's words they despise the instruction of the lord so what's going to be their end their end is going to be uh death on this side whether that be through that through that nuclear fire the martial law or, or whatever the Lord may have set out for you as far as your judgment, man. You know, when you come back in the, uh, the two-thirds after they perish on this side, they're going to come back and be reborn through the elect in the kingdom. And when some of them, when, they, when they're born, you know, your, your deeds are going to be revealed to you. All of our deeds will, man. We're going to get a, a rundown of everything right or wrong that we didn't did in our lives. You know, and, 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 and two-thirds of our people in the kingdom, they're going to be ashamed for a little while because of the life that they lived over here on this side, man. You know? But uh, I'm gonna keep reading. It says, and they that be wise shall shine as the bright as the brightness of the firmament, and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. You know, that's talking about the hopeful elect, man. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. So we living in that time, man. You know, the books are open for, for anybody whom Yahweh Shai is dealing with. You know what I'm saying? But this book is still closed if the Lord ain't dealing with you. And I was watching uh, the apostles, you know, uh, last night. And they were going into how, you know, we're prophets, man. The Lord is dealing with the prophets. You know, we ain't kings and bishops and deacons, man. The Lord ain't dealing with that right now. You know, the Lord is dealing with the prophets, man. Yahweh Bashem Yahushua is dealing with the prophets. And all of his prophets are men, you know? A woman has no business picking up these scriptures and going into these scriptures and calling herself a preacher or an evangelist. A woman ain't supposed to even be teaching a word. Y'all don't have what it takes, man. And the Lord ultimately ain't dealing, his, the, the, he dealing with men. Matter of fact, let me get that scripture. No, I think that's in Ezekiel. 
The Lord tells you that the flock of his pastor are men. And he's very clear about that. So can't no woman pick the scriptures up and go into this Bible. When the scriptures talk about uh, uh, women in, in, in Job, I believe that's Job. Uh, I, can't, I, I can't recall the scripture off the top of my head. But the scriptures talk about how he have deprived her of wisdom. You know? Now ultimately, man, the woman is the weaker vessel. The Lord set the men up, the men of our, of our, of our nation in particular, and gave them the law, statutes, and commandments to preach. All of the priests, the Levites, they were men. You know what I'm saying? The prophets, they were men. There is no such thing as a prophetess or a woman that can teach the scriptures. You know, the scriptures tell you in uh, Corinthians, man, I be, I'm going to roughly paraphrase. Um, I believe that's 2 Corinthians, where it goes into how a woman is not, I, I, I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over the man, but to be in silence. And you women don't know how to do that, man. All these women do is fucking talk. Run their goddamn mouth. And a lot of y'all will be able to have a man if you wouldn't run them off with your mouth, man. The scriptures talk about how, you know, having a, a, a silent woman is a blessing. Roughly paraphrasing that scripture. Matter of fact, I'm going to hold that and I'm going to pull this real quick. This is Ezekiel 34. And um, I'll start at verse 30. Thus shall they know that I, the Lord, I, Yahweh, their power, am with them. And that they, even the house of Israel, are my people, saith Yahweh. And ye, my flock, the flock of my pasture, are men. And I am your power, saith Yahweh power. You know, so there you have it. The Lord is dealing with men. This is Ecclesiasticus 26 and 14. A silent and loving woman is a gift of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. And there is nothing so much worth as a mind well instructed. And do we have that on this side, man? No. You got to come out here and fight with the world, especially as a so called Negro, Latino, or Native American, man, an Israelite, man. You got to come out here and fight with the world, and then you got to go home and fight with your woman. So, man, our women, are, uh, they're our enemy right now. You know, I was listening to Elder Zahab, man. He, it was an older lesson that a, a brother reposted and put back into circulation. And uh, this is Elder Zahab from the GMS Mississippi camp. You know, the Zaquan was basically telling you, man, hey, beware of Keisha, of that loud and obnoxious spirit. But you also got to beware of um, that, uh, that, that more subtle spirit, man, su subtle spirit. You know, because some of these women ain't gonna come at you loud and obnoxious, and they'll use that, you know, that feminine charm on you to disarm you. Hey man, King Solomon had time to deal with a thousand women, and he said that he found not one good woman among a thousand. You know, we at work all the time. Some of us got two jobs, so we ain't even got to experience women the way that King Solomon did, man. We don't even have that much experience, man, you know? Hey man, the, the smoothest Jake ain't been able to deal with a thousand different women and take time and get to know them like like King Solomon did. So can you can you can trust King Solomon's word when he said that he found not one good woman among a thousand. So how do we how we gonna find a good woman here in, in Babylon the Great at that? Hey, most men are going overseas to get a woman because the women over here in this Western culture they're undone, and any real man ain't gonna deal with them, man. Or you would deal with them and, and, and keep it pushing, you know? Let's see. Uh... Yeah, man, but prophecy is coming and, and, and moving very, very quickly. You got war on the cards. You got the RFID chip on the cards, man, the mark of the beast. You know what I'm saying? You got different plagues on the cards, man. Prophecy is literally jumping off of the pages, you know? This is Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, 
For the devil has come down unto you having great wrath, because he knoweth that he has but a short time. And well, who was the devil, man? He saw the so-called white man, in particular, the elites. You know? Hey, they know that they have but a short time. And they know that if they don't do something about the Israelites, they going into captivity, according to prophecy. You know? So, you know, the FDA just, like I, like I was going into, the FDA just granted Elon Musk, um, uh, basically, yeah, they, they, they telling him, go ahead and get the trial started, finish it up so we can get it rolling out. I don't believe that we'll, you know, hey, no man know if that, 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 that day, man, but, you know, I was listening to Elder Apostle Hart again, man. Uh, he was basically saying how, you know, we might not be out of here 2023. Lord willing, we out of here 2024. You know, all we can do is keep that patience, man, because at the end of the day, we want to get the hell out of here right now. But it ain't up to us, man. And it's ultimately, it's not up to Yahweh size. It's up to Yahweh, man. And whenever he decides to, to get everything rolling, that's when it's going to happen. You know, but before we get up out of here, man, hey, they going to come for us. I, because they tired of us, <laughs> you know, beating, uh, 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 beating down on their lives with this truth. You know what I'm saying? They gonna come for us, man. Some of us gonna get, you know, we gonna get tried. All of us are gonna be tried, actually. You know, they gonna throw some of us in jail. They gonna put some of us to death. But man, you gotta realize that this is what we signed up for. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no tears, man. It is what it is, you know? And ultimately, Yahweh Shai, man, um, he's the forerunner of our faith, man. You know, Yahweh Shai got put to, put into, he, 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 he basically took one of the worst deaths, you know, known to man. And he did that for us, man. You know what I'm saying? And Yahweh Shai called us friends. You know, and right now, man, when we come out here and teach this word on the highways and the byways, we laying our life down for, for Yahweh Shai, man. You know what I'm saying? Presenting our bodies as a living sacrifice. So, you know, hey, whatever happened to you, man, just keep the faith and, you know, keep your patience, man. Like the scriptures say, man, and your patience, like how I said, and your patience possess you your soul. You know, hey, man, if you lose patience, you can lose your soul, man. If you lose patience, you might take that chip. But you know, it is what it is. When we get persecuted for doing right, that's when we know we in the right, man. You know, you'd rather go to jail for, for teaching this truth I'd rather be jailed for, you know, uh, for Yahweh Shah's sake, rather, than to, 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 to go to jail on some nigga shit, man. You know what I'm saying? You'd rather die an honorable death than to be put to death for do, for being wicked. You know, but you gotta choose, you gotta pick, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta pick, man. You gotta pick a side because the Lord ain't gonna deal with nobody that's riding the fence. You know, you gotta be either hot or cold for this truth. Speaking for myself first and foremost. Now, the Lord is starting to put a separation between who he's dealing with and who he's not. And you're starting to see. You know what I'm saying? All these other camps that do unity camps, that do things like that. A lot of them brothers, I've, I've met some brothers from IUIC. A lot of them are bugged the hell out, man. You got to look at their congregation. Some of their women have been, been killed by certain members. You know, dreadlocks are unlawful. A lot of them got dreadlocks in their goddamn head, man. Samson who was a judge of Israel, this is why you have to get into the scriptures and you have to go into the words. When you go into that word for lock, it is a Hebrew word, um, maklafa, you know, uh, salaki if I'm not pronouncing it right. You know, but when you go into that definition, Samson had braids or plaques. He never had dreadlocks, man. A lot of niggas in Israel, you know, Y'all use that to, to, to say dreadlocks are lawful. You know, it, it just for brothers that don't know, man, I have, you know, I got plaques, you know what I'm saying? But I don't, you know, uh, subscribe to that dreadlock culture, man, because that ain't none of our, that ain't that ain't a custom of ours. You wouldn't catch an Israelite wearing no dreadlocks, man. You know, ultimately, you know, having your hair all the way down here, 
you know, your hair long as hell, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, people mistaking you for a woman. That's all. It is a shame for a man to have long hair. Now, you know, if you growing your braids out or whatever, man, it ain't a law against that. You know what I'm saying? But you shouldn't be around here being, you know, if a brother look at you and be like, oh, is that a man or a woman? Man, your hair is too long, man. You shouldn't have no damn dreadlocks in your head, man. Dreadlocks are filthy. Because what happens when you take out, when you take down a braid, all that dust and all that dirt and shit comes out of it. Depending on how long you done had them in, you can't undo a dreadlock, man. So all you doing is twisting up dirt and lint and calling it a lock. It's a filthy custom. And it ain't about what is the, you know, a custom that is not of our nation. Dreadlocks are called Shiva Jatas. So that means that they are rigid. They're, that's a that's an East Indian thing, man. That's an Elamite thing, man. That ain't a, that ain't a, 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 a Hebrew Israelite thing. Dreadlocks are a custom of heathens. And ultimately, if you have dreadlocks in your head, that is a dedication to a deity named Shiva. That's why they call them Shiva Jatas. You know? But you know, hey man, the Lord's putting a separation in between who he's dealing with and who he's not. And you're starting to see that. You know? The Lord ain't, 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 ain't commissioned us to fucking make rap videos, man. Or rap songs. You know what I'm saying? If the Lord wanted... Uh, uh, some rappers, he'd get the best of them because a lot of y'all can't rap any damn way. A lot of you guys out there making these Israelite rap songs, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, just teach the word, bro. That's what you're supposed to be doing. It's just teaching the word. The Lord ain't got you, you know, he ain't, hey, hey, you ain't supposed to be out here uh, gang banging and doing all that other shit, man. That's worldly. And a lot of these Israelite camps are, are, are merging worldly behavior into this truth. And that's completely the hell off, man. And it's wicked. You know? Basically, man, these other camps, a lot of guys from these other camps, and it ain't a personal attack. A lot of them got one foot in the world and one foot in this truth. You know what I'm saying? Telling you that you can smoke weed, man. You know? Smoking weed put demons on you. Because when you stop, Stop smoking weed for a little while and try back and try, you know, try back a uh, 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 smoking. You are gonna bug the hell out, man. And most people do once they once you stop. It's kind of like you know, why go back to doing that? You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all, man, y'all uh, uh, wrapping that weed up in tobacco, so you addicted to weed and tobacco. You know? I remember how it was, man. That shit basically make you a damn make you a damn junk. A lightweight junkie, man. You know what I'm saying? Because you'll be around here, man, I can't eat. I ain't smoke yet. You know? Or, uh, you know, you just got to think, man. Like, would you, could you envision any other prophet sitting up smoking a fucking blunt? You know, you got to use your spiritual lenses, man, and, 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 and think about this shit, man. What you see, you got to process it through the scriptures and through the spirit, everything. Now, brothers drink. Ain't nothing wrong with having a strong uh, a strong drink. You know what I'm saying? But as far as, you, you know, smoking, that shit's completely off. Edibles are lawful, but you don't want to get too heavy into that, man. You know? Everything is lawful for me, but everything is not expedient. And I guarantee you ain't nobody going to be smoking no fucking weed in the kingdom of heaven, man. Excuse my language. You know, but... With that, man, I'm going to go ahead and close out. Lord willing, this was edifying. All praise, honor, and glory is due to Yahweh, Allah, Hayanawa, Bahashem, Hamashiach, Yahweh, Shah, for putting the spirit on me to do this lesson. Double honors to my elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Shalom.